Hello and welcome everybody, what is going on? So this one is quite a big transfer talk. Um, quite frankly, there's a lot of things to talk about and quite frankly, there's a lot of things that uh, you know we need to discuss. Now the first one is, and that one came out yesterday, I was going to wait with this one because I was hoping there's going to be an official announcement or something, but there wasn't, so I'm making this video today. And that is that Tuchel. Uh, my personal preferred choice for the next Bayern coach has declined the Bayern position. Now this is coming according to pretty much every single newspaper. There's like all of them, uh, and honestly, uh, all of them um, agreed to this. All of them said the same things. All of them, you know, made the same news pretty much at the same time as well. And uh, that is that Tuchel has decided to take a different job. Now according to Süddeutsche Zeitung, um, Basically, the way it was is like essentially like he thought, you know, that he's gonna get the Bayern job because they kept telling him that he's gonna get the Bayern job, but they never really talked to him directly. And then they stopped talking to him, and then like he accepted a different position. And only once they realized, wait, he's actually accepted a different position, that day then the board then started, you know, trying to convince him again. By that time, it was already too late because he's at that time he'd already given his statement, he's already agreed to join a different team now. That to me just shows poor planning, considering the fact that we had no quote unquote. I'm quoting Carlos Romilliga right here. We had no plan B to begin with. Jupp Heinkes was always the plan, and we have no plan B. And Jupp Heinkes has always said that he would retire at the end of this season. So it is what it is, but ultimately for me, the issue right now is who can we actually get? Uh, who can we actually get that could actually come in? and fill the void starting next season because there's not many great coaches left there's not many good ones left um now Tuchel would have been my preferred choice regardless you know probably uh regardless of who was available um so i was hoping for that i was really really hoping for that so when the news came out yesterday i was just like oh boy here we go who is possible and the question the answer really is that nobody is really possible now there was this news a few weeks ago, I think like four or five weeks ago, which I never reported because I always thought, like I said, I always thought Tuchel would be the one because he's been the one that we've been linked with for like the longest. But, it was a, but now that we're not linked with him anymore, there was this news a few, uh, like this rumor just a few months, a few weeks or like a month ago or so, where like the rumor was that we are looking at po uh, Pochettino from Tottenham. I don't know. Uh, very, very unlikely. You know, very, very unlikely that Tottenham would allow him to leave. Very, very unlikely that he would leave in the middle of a contract. So I think it's a just very, very unlikely to be totally honest. Um, so there isn't really much available now. You know, you may just put names out there, but it has to be. They have to be. You know, actual people that we can actually get. You know, people that aren't on the contract or people whose contract is about to end. And the question is who. The question is who, and I don't know who. So your guess is as good as mine, to be totally honest. And I have, quite frankly, not got a single clue of who it could be. You know, people are saying Nagelsmann. He's still too young, and he's still under contract. You know, um, can he deal with like the egos? Can he deal with like the rebuilding process? All good questions. So there's so there's a lot of questions, a lot of question marks, you know, to answer this. So I I, I personally I don't have no idea. The best thing would probably be hiring me, you know, just, just saying, you know, call me, call me. but besides that, I have no idea. Now, the second bit of news is one that I find very, very unsurprising, and that is that Romanigga came out today, and or yesterday, I think it was today, actually, and said that Lewandowski is not going anywhere. Um, now, I thought that was pretty clear. You know, I thought you know, there's never going to be a chance for us, there's never going to be a moment where we would sell Lewandowski. I thought, yeah, that's not going to happen. Uh, you know, he's just too valuable, so we're not gonna sell him. Uh, but they're like all the rumors, you know, all the rumors from Spain obviously kept coming out saying, oh, yo, uh, you know, Lewandowski wants Real Madrid and whatnot and whatnot. And then, like, all the like, a lot of rumors from like Poland came out and a lot of rumors from Germany came out saying that that's nonsense. Uh, and our Rubinigate came out and officially confirmed that, that, you know, we're not selling him. We're not selling, he's not leaving in the summer. That is not happening. And that's the situation. That's, that's literally it. There is no discussion regarding that. There is no, you know, there, there is, that wasn't a question mark. It wasn't a doubt. It wasn't, oh, I don't think he's going to leave in the summer. No, that was just a clear cut. He's not leaving in the summer. All right. 
All right, that's literally all we're gonna spend on that because I didn't make videos on that because I never thought it was very, very credible. If I saw a credible source actually saying that, I would have been like, you know what? Okay, uh, maybe there is something to the story. But I never saw a credible source, so I never really talked about. It. I never actually talked about it at all because it's something that happens every single year. You know, every single year there's a rumor Lewandowski to Real Madrid. I think that's happened since. 20 almost 2012 i think like 2012 2013 2014 that's when it started i think even before that maybe but like that's when the rumors just started coming you know, of him going to Real madrid and whatnot and they've not stopped since then and it's never really worried me since then at all so it didn't worry me at all this season either it's going to be the same next season where there's going to be a rumor of like oh you know Lewandowski wants to go to Real madrid it's always going to be that way uh, always going to be that way every single season so that doesn't really bother me at all now the last one, uh, and funny enough, I didn't actually make a video on this. I was gonna make a video, but then I got a little bit busy, you know, and then I never really got to it. And that was that Malcolm is not joining Bayern. Now, if recently, like a few days ago, I think three days ago or so, he made an interview with Sky Sports Germany saying that Bayern is one of the clubs that he's looking at, you know, and that he is gonna leave his club um, in the summer. And you know, you know, his dream would be to play for Bayern, and he's had some contact with Bayern here and there. But Romanig. Uh, a few weeks before that interview, actually, uh, Jupp Heynckes came out and said, no, we're not looking at him. Uh, but obviously, Jupp Heynckes wouldn't know for the squad planning. I would assume Jupp Heynckes wouldn't know the squad planning for next season, considering he's not going to be here next season. Um, but Romane came out today and said, no, we're not looking at Malcolm. That's not the case. You know, we're not, we're not, we're not entertaining the idea. Um... We, we scout him, but that's really all there is to it. You know, there's not much more there is to it. Now, um, I'm just going to do a very quick translation of the actual exact words. Now, this is uh, this comes from TZ. Um, and basically, he says uh, that... Uh, how do you translate that? Basically, just... Yeah, I'll just keep it at what... I said previously that basically there is nothing to it. There is, you know, that, that rumor is not credible at all. That rumor is just, you know, it's wrong. Um, there is no credibility to it. There is no actual source to it. You know, there, there is no truth to it, and that's all there is um, to Malcolm. Now the question is obviously who are we gonna get? Because we need to get a wing at least one, at least one. So the question is again, who are we gonna get? I have no idea. It's the same with the coach situation. I feel like we need to get a coach first, just so we know like what we're, how we're gonna play or what we're gonna do next season. And once that is established, we can actually look at players. Now, obviously, we could look at players already and then get a coach in to fit that philosophy. But I feel like you should get the most important thing right now is a coach. You know, that's honestly the most important thing, uh, and it's gonna be quite interesting just to see who it is gonna be because right now I have no idea. But that's all there is, Dolly and Jackman. I will see you guys next time. I want to, I want you guys to tell me actually uh, who you've got on your mind um, regarding you know, who should be the coach for next season. Now, keep in mind, your pine is not going to extend. There is no chance. All right, I'm just saying this outright. There is no chance that he'll extend. He's not going to say the whole season. Oh, I'm not going to extend, and then like in the last few weeks, he's going to extend. That's not going to happen. All right. He deserves his retirement. Toho is all out of the question. All the newspapers saying that at once means that he's out of the question. That's just the way it is. You know? If it was just one newspaper or two newspapers, I'd be like, you know what? Not credible. But like with every single one saying that, credible. So the question is, who do you guys think is going to join? Who do you think is going to be the coach at the end of the season? That's what I want to know from you guys. Uh, tell me in the comment section down below. And peace out, everyone. Have a nice day.